in this next video I'm going to show you how to program your flight controller with to your uh, TX using the ST assistant software okay uh, I have my radio powered up my USB plugged in my, of course my battery is plugged in and my USB plugged into that uh, VU unit and you see how it's green there okay let's go ahead and move uh, to the next step here okay the first thing you're going to see is the motor mixer you have two types which is this one that's the plus configuration see how the the M is there M1 2 3 4 um, I'm not using the plus I'm using the X which is this one here and it makes it the uh, first motors on the right far right left M1 M2 3 and 4 okay that's what I have it set at right now for me um, TX this is going to be for your TX calibration with your transmitter. Go ahead and click. Okay, go ahead and click start for right now. For me, this is the correct settings on my DX7. It is normal, reverse, normal, reverse. Um, and you can set it up here. Okay, go ahead and move your throttle up, your throttle down, throttle up, throttle down. It is, if it's reverse, click on that normal and turn it to reverse okay so that's throttle up throttle down for me normal is correct rudder you're gonna move your rudder stick right rudder stick left um, see it how it didn't move all the way go ahead and click on this there and that will put it to normal see and then uh, click it again here for me this is left rudder that's right rudder okay left rudder right rudder oh my god transmitter and it's gonna move accordingly okay okay left right the E is gonna be the aileron which is the the right stick on my transmitter you can move up and down okay you go ahead and do that move up and down see how it didn't move all the way now if you click on this it sort of resets it puts it right in the middle okay and if you uh, push up on your elevator see that's going down if I'm pushing down that's going up that should, that's wrong if I click on normal now if I move up the slider goes up if I push down on the stick it goes down on the slider. So this is down, and you see it's down on the slider there. That's correct. Okay, make sure that's important. You got to make sure that's correct. The elevator's got to when you go down on the stick, because the slider goes down. You push up on the stick, it goes up on the slider. Okay, the A is the aileron, which is the left and right. Okay, and you're going to move left. Um, actually, that's right, and that's left. See how it's not calibrated right right now? Go ahead and click on normal, and it sets it to center again. Okay, and uh, now I'm going to move right on the stick for aileron. See, it's going the opposite direction, left opposite direction. I need to change it. Now it's reverse. That's right aileron, left aileron. That's correct. Left, right. Left, right. Okay, after you're done, I'm going to click finish. Okay. Now Step three, that's the sticks monitor um, for X1, X2. That's not an option right now. You can skip that. Uh, you do need to do step four, which is flight control mode. Um, now, that's the uh, wire that corresponds with the U. Remember on the other video I showed you that it connects to the U cable and the gear on my transmitter? Okay which is, uh, that's my gear switch right here on top. That's my gear switch. It controls the, uh, what flight mode I'm in. 
actually um, it controls the gain for my uh, gyro normally in a, on a helicopter. Okay. Okay. Now it has two pos two positions. Normally, when initially when you started this, it will it will go in there in a fail safe area, and you need to change that on your transmitter. Okay, for on the DX7. Okay, you're going to go to your travel adjust for your gear channel. Okay. And see and this is the switch that changes uh the gear channel for me if I flip it plus or minus. That's the gear switch for me. Oh, this is the airplane. I have the airplane mode uh, DX7, but uh, on your heli, heli mode, um, on the helicopter version of this DX7, that's your flight mode, and your gear switch may be here, I think. Okay, but this is the air, air, airplane version, and it's reversed like that. But anyways, it's going to be your gear. It's going to be on your gear, okay, and. Uh, Basically, you want to adjust the values for your gear switch until um, it gets right there in the, which is the attitude and the manual mode. Now, to change it, you just change the values on the gear. Okay, see how I change the numbers? See, this is what happens when I change the numbers. Huh? See how that slider? It moves out of the A. See, now I'm in a fail-safe. I don't want that. I want it to go in the A. Okay. You want it about right center there. And then if you flip the switch, it will go to the other side. Right, for example, uh, originally, I'm going to leave this at default 100 on both ends. Okay. That's a default 100. See, this is what happens at the default 100 when I flip the switches. Fails. See the slider? Okay, that means it's in a fail safe position. Okay, to move it into the. You have to move the slider to exactly to the A and the M when you flip that switch. Alright, the slider's right there. You're gonna go ahead and de. For me, I just decrease that value until it, it goes into the A. See, now it's in the A. Uh, I'm going to center it right there. That's in the A. That's about centered. Okay. And I'm going to flip my gear switch. Okay. And do the same thing until that slider on the right goes and in, falls into the end. And now it's in the end. For me, it's at um, 84 and 80. Okay. And see, now when I flip my switch, see how now it falls? It's flight mode, manual, flight mode, attitude. And that's it. Okay. Uh, once you're done with that, go ahead and click on autopilot. Pilot. For me, um, I left all the these uh, the gain settings on default. It works fine for me for now. I can adjust these later if I have to. You can have to play with that and see how you get a feel when you fly your helico helicopter. Uh, two is going to be the flight height lock. Uh, I like it enabled. I tried both. Disabled is where you uh, uh, control the height with your sticks. Um, you're much more active with the helicopter, with the quad. Uh, I like, it's much easier to fly on when the height lock is enabled. I left my own in enabled right now. Uh, you can try both. Uh, and this is the battery voltage. It tells you, uh, that's the voltage on my battery. Um, 